Nigerian police, they might want to use very dark man to make a statement. So yesterday, a very dark man dropped a video that he announced himself as our CSP online division. My name is CSP, very dark man of the online division, the Nigerian number one online police. I am not an activist, so stop calling me an activist. Unlike every other one out there, I am dedicated to sanitizing the social media space by using my platform to stand against people that abuse power, oppress us, and especially my favorite customers, the online vendors. The online vendors that collect money from customers and they will not deliver the goods or deliver whatever thing that is agreed upon i stand up against them 100 percent therefore standing for the victims collect their money back and to stand against general oppression in the society and he was wearing nigerian police uniform to make their video and nigerian police has came out to say that this is unlawful that this is not good and this is not acceptable but i want to take you to the genesis of this whole story you remember in 2022 something happened the high gp threatens to arrest kit maker filmmaker over unauthorized use of police uniform or kids you remember the case of brother shaggy around i think that would be in july 31st uh 2022 and there was a video that was circulating after brother shaggy made the video um, i mean he has been making video that him and officer wolves they will wear nigerian police uniform and they kept doing what they're doing and hey everybody was happy watching them the likes of Haki and Popo were wearing the same things and it was uh, they were all wearing this uniform while they were doing still I mean very active acting movies and in 2022 the inspector general of police Usman Baba has declared the use of police uniform kit and other agreements uh, by filmmaker or skip maker illegal and he said that anyone that tries it again anyone that use any of the police items or police uniform again that they will face the law he said they will face the law so and uh, mr ade Yobi, who expressed worries about how the police portray inferior entertainment content said using police uniform without permission is criminalism and punished by section 251 of criminal code law and section 133 of the panel code law so the igp then has came out to say that this will not be acceptable anymore and he said that he also has given an order to the police to arrest and immediately prosecute in accordance with law all persons or group of persons engaging in the illegal sales of police uniform and any of the police items that this whole thing is illegal and they should desist from it that it's not going to be acceptable again so and he also added the film or skit maker will portray the nigerian police force official in a bad light without applying for or being duly issued a permit letter for such portray to desist with immediate effect or face the full rot of the law so this warning came by the police uh, to the comedian, to popular comedian, Brother Shaggy then. He was popular. That video was was on the social media. We even made it to the mainstream where we were all talking about it in 2022. So some of the popular comedians who have used the police uniform regularly have Brother Shaggy, Officer Woos, Aki and Popo and others. So you see, this is the genesis of everything. They are already, they have already laid down a foundation. They have already issued a warning. They will refer back to this warning and this might be a trouble this might be trouble for very dark man i don't know why he did that i know he's doing good he's doing a good job well i will also tell very dark man to just uh, i mean some things just try and stay away from it uh, he might have his reason he might have a way of getting out of it he might have consulted his lawyer and the lawyer might have just uh, tell him to hey go for it that is nothing serious they, they maybe they have a way of getting out of it but then uh if the jihad or you know anything about it maybe he would have cautioned him or maybe he also supported him wearing the nigerian police uniform but come to talk of it is this nigerian police uniform because i can see vdm on it it might just be some materials that vdm himself just put together so and everything but is it lawful to wear that uniform i mean also to sew anything that looks like the nigerian police uniform if you look at uh, brother shaggy at that time they had to change their name call themselves another name they call themselves another name so very dark man might be getting into trouble here very dark man might be facing a lot of a lot of charges uh, when it comes to this issue because uh, now they will be bombarding him they want to come for him especially knowing that he has been coming for the officers he has been coming for the dss he has been coming for anything that is coming people he has been coming for the efcc if they misbehave he has been coming for he has been fighting for injustice in the country and these bodies had most corrupt bodies in the government of nigeria the officials the police the efcc all of them they look like they are against criminals in the country but then hey these people they are the most corrupt the most corrupt people in this country if you really deep if you if you, if you, if you go deep into things uh, that they do that happens in their office anyway so it's uh it's gonna be it's gonna be serious matters because if 
eventually they try to nail very dark man on this then they might come up with a lot of things but i just hope that he has a backup plan i hope that the judges do have a backup plan for this i, I hope they have a way of escape from this one uh, because uh, uh for what very dark man is doing especially what nigerians are enjoying the privilege and all the beautiful things that they are enjoying when it comes to very dark man they also need to be very wise in some actions and some things that he will be doing from now especially this move when it comes to wearing police officers uniform to come out and announce <laughs> it's now online police that can lead him to where he wasn't expecting that he would be and that might also affect a lot of things so i hope that they have a way of escape from this one so well a lot of things has happened a lot of people will be willing to see him go down people like uh, the balanos so people like bob whiskey they will be willing to see him go down and a lot of people that he has also fight injustice for the victims the people that feel like they have been victimized by him they feel like he has jumped into a uh, business that does not consign him when it comes to the illegal and the wickedness that he did and those people they will be happy now they will be happy they will be waiting for what nigerian police will do in this case uh, but i believe that nigerian police should take it easy and they should still make this a warning uh, and why they do their investigation but i don't think very that one will go to a, another police or any officers to borrow this or to have access to this he, this is just something that i believe that he possibly just uh pay for and they sold it for him and all those stuff because this didn't look fitted it looked nice on him so i, I believe he, he, he this is a custom made for him this is a custom made and he have nothing to do with any officers he has nothing to do he possibly uh I, well the another thing that i will be expecting in which the Nigerian police said they are investigating is if this is actually, uh, if you have a permission for this, if it's something that he possibly, maybe he drove himself to one of the nearby police station and he told them he want to do this. But with Nigerian police or any of the division, even would they ever permit him to do anything like this? So those are the questions that we are asking. Because uh, to my own little knowledge, I believe that these people, they won't even let him do it, except the except very dark man himself. Maybe he's a big man that some people respect when it comes to their office to that or police or nigerian police officers office whereby they respect him and they can grant him such permission such permits and this is not for skits this is not for skits this is not for movie this is for him to do what to do the job of the police the job that the police are supposed to be doing in the first place nigerians are supposed to be running to nigerian police nigerian police are supposed to be the one that nigerians will report any criminal act against them too and so if anyone uh, did anything wrong if anybody take something that does not belong to them against your will you should be able to report to the nigerian police and actions supposed to be taken they're supposed to fight for you but then when the body that's supposed to fight for you they are now the one that is even taken from you they are the one that want to empty your bank account they are the one that want to destroy you so these people they will rather go to a man that will not take anything from them that even along the way why he's fighting for them he might even still spend his money on them he might spend his money on them he might still give them something they might also be gaining from him instead of going to the nigeria police then they will now start telling you uh, imagine the guy that just that received a punch from the uber guy that received a punch imagine he ran to the police and is waiting for police to find justice what do you think will happen you're possibly going to be telling him i'll pay for this form pay for this form do this do that and they will be coming to the police station they will be taking money from him or every day and all that so when a body that's supposed to be trusted when people can trust them to report a criminal act against someone that believe that they can do and undo and they have money to do what they are doing that wicked thing they are doing then people will not run to the police anymore people will run to someone like very dark man that will bless them very dark man that is willing to go beyond even their expectation very dark man that does not fear anybody he's not scared of anybody he can call anybody out so people rather go for people like that instead of them going to nigerian police or any uh, of the official body in the government of nigeria so this is also fought from the nigerian police from the nigeria securities this is also fought from them because you are not trusted you have not been you are not doing anything that will make nigeria to trust you to run to you every time even before uh, before nigerians will run to you for some cases they will think twice that okay i hope i will i'm not shooting myself on my feet i hope i'm not putting myself in trouble imagine before, before a citizen will run to the police they're already thinking i remember an incident that happened when i was uh, still little maybe around 19 year old we were in school playing football and all of a sudden a guy fell down and this guy was on the ground was just he had a scissor he was on the ground and we were just there trying to revive the guy and make sure that he, he, the guy didn't find so we were doing that and the game was already over well, 
and the game was already over at that time. It was already getting darker, and we had to make sure that this guy was okay. Eventually, the guy came up, everything was fine, and I was going home. Then there's no telephone to call anyone. I don't have a phone. We have a land phone in the house, but I don't have a phone to call the land phone. So my dad has been waiting for me. He was waiting that, where is this boy? He's supposed to get home an hour before this time. By the time I got home, he was already in the sitting room looking like, uh, like a soldier, waiting for me, that this boy must explain himself. So as soon as I got inside, he asked me, where are you coming from? I was like, uh, 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 we, uh, that something happened in school. I was happy. I was even excited to tell him, to explain to him what happened, that this was what happened, that a guy fell down when people were excited, shouting that they won the game, and the school won the game. So they were shouting, and maybe because of the noise, this guy has a scissor, and uh, we tried to help him, and I was among the people that helped him. The next thing that I had was a slap on my face. He said, what of if police got there, and the guy died? <laughs> What of if police get there and the guy died? What of if this happened and that happened? He began to mention a lot of things that can go wrong. In that case, I received a beating that night. So imagine that kind of beating. Will I even stop to help anybody on the street again? Will I even think of helping anybody again with the mentality that many of us carry in this country, with the mentality that the Nigerian police has imposed in the mind of people, that you can easily be a victim of something that you have no hand in, something that you didn't even do. You can easily, easily fall a victim of it. So that's why those people will not run to you. That's why they will rather go to someone like Very Dark Man for help because they know that he will listen to them and it's not going to charge them. It's not going to be telling them to pay for a form, to pay for what they don't have. Imagine someone came to you that someone took 100,000 from him. You only have 120,000 and you are asking him to pay for form 10,000. He already took 100,000 from him. This guy have 20K left and you want 20,000 from him. And along the way, you still are expecting, you are expecting to take something from him. And along the way, if this guy don't comply, com comply <laughs> if this guy don't comply, he can still get in trouble. I think I was watching a movie where a guy was uh, took someone to the police station for 500 naira. When he got to the police station, they were asking that guy to pay for 1,000 naira to take a form, 500, you are charged, you, are, you came because you, someone took your 500, but the police want to charge you 1,000 naira for form. <laughs> that doubles the amount you are fighting for. So why are you in the police station in the first place? Why did you come there? So you people are not trusted. That's why people are praising very dark man. That's why people would rather praise him and go for him and tell him what is happening to them so that he can help them. And this also get into his head because uh, he has been successfully helping people. He has been successfully helping people that is being made public to Nigeria. Nigerians are seeing what he's doing and they are happy with what he's doing and they are excited and they will support him till tomorrow, even in everything, with all these challenges and everything. They will still support him, irrespective of what you, Nigerian police, irrespective of what you people are doing. And uh, if you look at the response, the reactions from many Nigerians, uh, well, I'm reading a comment now. Someone said, funny enough, now close to first headquarters, he shot this video. So this guy was even close to the police headquarters to, <laughs> to shoot the video that he was shooting. And someone said, the disrespect, the sweet us. Keep it up, very dark man. Because the guy in the, you remember in that video, very dark man said he will continue he, he, because he loved to disrespect people that oppress people. So if you oppress anybody, we disrespect you, irrespective of who you think you be, who you think is backing you up, how much you think you have in your bank account. You expect that disrespect in as much as you are not behaving like a human being. It will disrespect you. Someone said there's something about that uniform, but boss, no way I'm a big. <laughs> and that uniform, no God corrupt you himself because uh, na, na, corrupt, na corruption food that, that uniform, except the one where we say they never, yeah, they never, they never open their eyes. <laughs> uh, uh, according to him in that video very dark man said you can't fight for nigeria with respect that is why i will continue to disrespect i will continue to be disrespectful i will continue to be disrespectful because you cannot fight nigerians you cannot fight for nigerians with respect that's why i will continue to be disrespectful wow that's a huge statement that's a huge statement the more you respect people remember he saying that happened long time ago that uh, ffk was Doing, I think there was an interview, and a guy was asking him on that interview that who is who that who is paying him or something that who is backrolling him, and this guy just busted on uh, national TV. Now, do you know who I am? Who who, who is ba bankrolling who? Do you know who I am? And blah blah blah. And you could see here another another uh, another journalist later accusing that guy of asking the question. 
it's a question answer it if nobody's paying you if you are no if you are not on any one payroll then say no that nobody's bankrolling me nobody's paying me anything i'm just who i am i have business I tell people that you have business that you do and then it, it just blow out of proportion started saying do you know who i am we don't know who, I, who you are ffk we don't know who you are we don't know who you are we, are, we don't want to know who you are answer the question the guy did not ask the wrong question so people like that, when they when, when they think they have the whole world in their hands, they have money, they begin to misbehave. And so that's that kind of person you want respect to be able to get justice for Nigeria. How you want to respect that kind of person? Those are the people that sometimes you have to disrespect to be able to fight for Nigerians. Because if you are respecting them, they will use their money to finish you. They will use their money to finish you. So very dark man, don't join police. And uh, this now, voila, pro max. <laughs> pro max, voila. Oh, God. So anyway, very dark man, my be facing a lot from the Nigerian police. They might want to use them as a scapegoat. They might want to go with the issue, one issue that they have issued in 2022 against using the Nigerian police or any of his kids in a skit or in a movie without permission, without any proper arrangement or informing the Nigerian police division that is around you. So if you now use it, you are at your own, you are doing it at your own risk and you are working against the law of the country. So this is what the police have said. So we're looking forward to what will come out of it. Like I said, I hope that very dark men have a plan to escape this. And I hope that the idea of you possibly knows about this and he knows how to get out of this already. So let's keep watching. I uh, just said, let me bring you this update. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you follow us so that you don't miss any of her stories any hot story that is going on how dear please please subscribe make sure you like this video make sure you share this video let this video get to everyone and till i come your way next time don't worry we continue to give it to you i see the hot thank you so much now this work is not easy because a lot of people are really complaining about my approach and the way i do it they say this boy is very rude this boy is not mannered he's disrespectful but the truth is you cannot fight for nigeria with respect that is why i tend to be disrespectful and i swear to god i'm not even going to change i will disrespect a lot of people that are very bad and are bad egg in the society 100 percent unlike the regular police that we have in the society where they'll go through a lot of procedures and protocols i don't do that the moment you bring an evidence against anybody i will stand up and spoil their name i love spoiling people People's name. I will spoil your name and I don't care your position in society. I will spoil it so long there's an evidence against you. So it's better to be good and not fall into my trap. Now, how do I do this work? When you bring an evidence to me, I will post it online. I will now carry those evidence. I will now write a petition with my own money. Don't worry, you're not going to pay me one error. With my money, I take it to the police and I believe that the Nigerian police force is also an arm and a body that is also dedicated to fighting against corruption. So while they are doing their own offline, I am doing my own 100% online because I have the platform. And like I said, I will continue to do this in a very, very rude manner. Also, again, uh, because I'm a patriotic citizen of Nigeria, I also draw and create awareness on a lot of issues that will suffocate the growth of Nigeria at large. So I do a lot of things on this media. Now to the people that are saying, oh, very dark man, we don't sell in noodles before. Now they come online, we talk about social uprightness. Because I sell my noodles, make I let your brother sell your own, make I let your sister sell your own, or make I let the future generation sell their own. As everybody say, and as you all know, they say experience is the best teacher. And to all those people, they say, oh, don't too much. Eh, very soon, they'll set them up, they'll do this, they'll do that. I always say something. If you, if you come for me, you are the victim. If I come for you, you are the victim. And guess what? When I say don't play, you're going to learn. I mean don't play, you're going to learn, and you will learn the hard way. I believe my walkie-talkie is swinging in the car. Let me go and know who is calling. Wait till you go. Over and out. Over and out. Don't play.